one that's happening in real time just over the last few days. It's a, a fantastic example of Amazon Web Services, a company called Animoto. And uh, uh, this, what, basically what Animoto does is make it really easy for people to create videos with their own photos and their own music, or the, there's also royalty-free music that Animoto has on the site. And the way it works is the, they have some, uh, some secret sauce in their software that listens to the cadence of the music, and it basically kind of auto-edits the photos and aligns them with the music so that it looks good. Um, and, uh, you know, the, 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 they, sh they cut from one photo to the next at the right point in the rhythm of the music and so on. If you ever hand edited something, it's actually quite difficult to do. And so after it's mixed the video for you with your photos, if you don't like that particular mix, you just hit a button and it does it again. Um, and so you can kind of just, you know, iterate through a few iterations until you find a mix that you really like and it makes this incredibly simple. Well. The system is built on top of uh, Amazon Web Services. In fact, they, they use many of our services, the simple Q service, they use S3, and they use EC2. I'm going to talk mostly about EC2. Let me show you a, uh, a graph. Um, this, is an, this, this is all happening over the last three days. This is uh, Animoto's uh, EC2 instance usage. This is the number of server instances they're using. Let's see if I can get this laser pointer to work. So they're kind of going along here. This is about 50 EC2 instances down here. And uh, then this, they, their, their Facebook app kind of broke through. And so this is their Facebook app taking off. This is just three days ago. This is April 16th, I'm sorry, yeah, April 16th. Um, and you can see that they went, they've gone from 50 instances of EC2 usage up to 3,500 instances of EC2 usage. Now, it would have been, it's completely impractical in your own data center over the course of three days to scale from 50 servers to 3,500 servers. Don't try this at home. <laughs> um, uh, and, and by the way, you, if the other alternative might be to, you know, raise enough capital to deploy 3,500 servers, that's sort of equally insane um, because it's just way too big of a gamble. Um, you don't know whether you're going to get this app to take off in that way and you shouldn't be deploying that kind of capital. Um, the other thing that's interesting to know here is see these big drops. Well, this is the elastic part of the Elastic Compute Cloud because you can programmatically, all of this is controlled with APIs, so you write computer programs to deploy and undeploy EC2 instances. Um, in the middle of the night or at weak periods of demand, they can actually give back EC2 instances to the cloud and they're not paying for them once they give them back. Um, and then we can try to resell them to somebody else who perhaps doesn't have such time-sensitive demand, uh, com you know, graphics rendering, scientific compute ap uh, applications and so on. There are a bunch of applications that are more flexible and we can use those more flexible kinds of uh, uh, applications uh, to smooth out the demand curves and make better utilization of the underlying physical hardware. So that's one of the kind of system-wide structural advantages of this kind of pooled computing. But you really see, you know, from a startup company's point of view, this is a very dramatic three-day period. By the way, it's still growing. I think uh, today uh, they're peaking at 5,000 instances. So uh, pretty cool uh, case study. Here's from Brad Jefferson, the founder and CEO of Animoto. He says, before AWS, we couldn't have launched Animoto in our professional video rendering platform at our current scale without massive capex and a lot of VC funding. The viral spike in Animoto video creations we experienced this week would have been disastrous without AWS. And you do, you do face this issue uh, whenever you have a startup company. You want to be prepared for lightning to strike, but you don't want, because if you're not, that's really, that's, that generates a big regret. Um, if lightning strikes <laughs> and you weren't ready for it, um, that's kind of hard to live with. At the same time, you don't want to prepare your physical infrastructure uh, to kind of hubris levels either uh, in the case that lightning doesn't strike. 
So this, this kind of helps with that uh, tough situation. I'm going to take questions.